I love using styled looks on my sims because it's just very, very easy. But we are limited in the styled looks we've got. But I just found this article. It's written by Mizo Yuki on the Tumblr. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'll link this article down in the description if you're interested. And I thought I would try my hand creating some styled looks and taking you along for the ride. If, so if you want to do this as well, you, you can. For step one, we need to go and select a new game no thank you okay, let's start with a female styled look and the name doesn't matter traits don't matter we need to just make a certain look also hair doesn't matter so let's pick something short oh those eyebrows i i can't work with it <laughs> yes okay uh, apparently makeup does and we only need to do uh, everyday wear because apparently we're gonna change the tag later on. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Just a subtle one. It is, this one is just to try it out. It doesn't need to be perfect. Once I get the hang of it, I'll, <laughs> I'll probably try to spend more time with it. I am also gonna try try to do some jewelry. And apparently can, you can also do custom content with this. Let's do this. Yeah, that goes together. Let's give her some accessories here as well. I have no idea if fingernails will, will transfer. And the beautiful thing with this is too you can just mix different packs. Because all the start looks we have just get their stuff from one pack. And no, bracelets aren't visible with this top. Okay, this is my look. What are we gonna do next? Step 2. Okay, now we need to save her to my library. My first styled look so and now saving to the library and not to the gallery so we use this button now we're gonna make the second swatch just gonna do a few swatches this color i am gonna give her some green and then we're gonna change the colors up here as well i need to change out her name again otherwise we're gonna get some trouble and do i need to change this name as well okay so i'm just adding a two i think that's okay hoping i'm doing it right okay and i need to repeat this step for some more swatches this one you change your name up again and save and let's do one more for good measure oh this one this this one is very different from what we already had and we're gonna save here, here number four and to my library okay now we've made all the different looks okay i need to open sims 4 studio if you do not have it just google it and it will be the first hit Create an empty package with tools. Create empty package. Here we go. I am saving it in a styled looks folder that I just created. Okay, now go to content management. My library. I'll use a trade sheet. I have no idea what a trade sheet is. This will bring up your library where you'll be able to extract a file called sim info this file contains the clothing info for styled looks okay my computer is having a really hard time with this okay this took a second i am gonna select this one so what i needed to do okay right click does work oh i need on the on the bottom no does not work ah yeah we, we got yes export yeah, I needed to click on the sim herself. Here we go. And save it to your work folder without changing the name. Okay, I'm just gonna hit save. I think that's what I needed to do. Repeat for each watch you made. Okay, I can do that. And save. Okay, save them all. Now what? Okay, when your fingers close the library window. Batch import. Here. Oh, this one. Batch import. I need to select these and open. Okay, now we need to add a pre-made styled option so we can copy stuff from it. We're doing it by two. Game file cruiser. Oh, here we go. Style, styled look. Here. 
Here we go. Okay, now we need to find our ma matching swatches. We had a purple one. We also had a brown one. And a blue one. A light blue one. Do I have... Ah, here. Add to current package. Oh, yes, they are all in here now. Here above. Next, we need to match up the start look with the correct sim info. Click on your first sim info. Then find key. Where? Yeah, key. And copy this section labeled as instance. Yes. Copied. Okay, I have no idea <laughs> which one is which. I'm guessing the first one is the purple one. I, sh I should have ma made better names. Um, okay, I found sim info tolerance. And I need to pass the one I just copied in here. Repeat for each sim info in a match matching style look. Okay. I paste all those codes in sim info tolerance. Uh, tools hash generator. At the uh, new window will open, start typing your name for your start look onto the area where it says text. Okay. Oh, it doesn't need to. Okay. Hey, first, my name. I need to copy this number for some reason. Okay. Copied. And go to your first start look. And find the prototype ID. I cannot find it. Oh no. Oh wait. I need to go into this one. <laughs> yes, here. Yeah, found it. Paste the number you copied onto this spot. Do this for every styled look you have. So they all have a matching prototype ID. This will connect and group them in cars. Uh, go back to your hash generator. Here we go. Go back to and replace the zero with a one. Okay, just copied this one and I think I need to place that one here. Okay, so now it's a two. This one changes. So I need to go to the second look. And paste it here in the instance. This is pretty complicated. <laughs> We now need to fix our tag so the system appears in the appropriate category for the right sims. Okay, and this one is for female, uh, young adults. That is for every child look. Okay, so elder, female, teen, uh, young adult. Okay, next go down to the section called tags. This is where we'll fix the category the outfits up appear in. Click edit items button on the right and a window will open. Okay, this is a female outfit so I'm gonna remove this one. Human Vampire Witch. Uh, outfit category. Everyday wear can I? Uh, everyday. Here we go. I'm looking here at the occult and seeing aiding human mermaid vampire and witch. I'm not seeing werewolf. <laughs> Okay, I added the text of all the styled looks. You can customize the background sound shown behind the sims. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Okay, this I don't need to do this. I think I am done. Let's see what it's gonna look like in game. I've created a styled looks folder in my mods folder and copied it in here. And let's see if it's gonna be visible in game. How much many are there? Oh yes! Here she is! Oh she also copied the hair! Why? Why did it copy the hair? I did something wrong. I did something wrong. I'm gonna check. Ah uh, yeah, the next thing I want to explain is disabling or enabling hair. Hair as well as hair. Um, okay. Oh hair, nails and makeup. As I know some people will want it and others won't. Okay, select the first sim info. Scroll down till you see outfits. Outfits, yes, found it. And click edit items, yes. Okay, every day, edit items. Oh, I need to copy this one and put it in outfit flex. Now, I don't want the nails and makeup disabled. And hit save on each window when you're done to save your work. And I need to repeat this for each sim info. Okay. I replace 
this one and just to be safe let's delete the local thumb cache and open the game again okay let's see if i can find it it was the very last one okay here we go let's check yes it worked it worked she got the makeup let's show your ears oh yes and the earrings it absolutely worked the different colors the green one and the blue one oh i <sighs> used the wrong colors <laughs> i used the wrong colors learn lesson for next time but it totally works if you want to do this yourself i'll leave the link to the tutorial in the description and if you want to download this style look for whatever reason i will post a link to that one as well i'll just put it on the sims file share for you to uh, to download i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please press like youtube thinks you would like to see this video and i hope to see you next time bye bye